Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. Today we're going to take a look at a cool new device from EVGA and NVIDIA that is not a graphics card. Instead, we're looking at the Tegra Note 7. And what we have here is actually a complete uh, tablet device developed by NVIDIA uh, that they're going to bring to market through their partners. You can see our first one here is actually EVGA branded. Um, it's a 7-inch class device. It's got a Tegra 4 processor, 16 gigs of onboard memory plus a micro SD slot. It's got a stylus, HDR camera, front-facing speakers, and it is currently running Android 4.2.2. Um, fairly reasonable uh, boxing here. We'll just go ahead and take it out of the device, or out of the box rather, and you can see the Tegra Note 7 in all of its glory. You can see here it's got the EVGA branding on the back. Ooh, let me get there as well as the Tegra Note branding. This is kind of like a soft rubberized plastic here, and then there's standard plastic. You've got uh, a five megapixel uh, HDR back-facing camera. You've got a, I think that's a 1.2 front-facing camera. Um, up top we have, if we can see that there, we've got HDMI and USB connection for charging, headphone, and then lock button on there. And other than that, you've got our volume rockers on this side, as well as the micro SD slot. It's relatively thin. It's not the thinnest 7-inch tablet we have. The Nexus 7 is a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter, but not by much. I do really like the front-facing speakers on this, though, uh, that we'll, we'll demonstrate here. So it's one of, the, one of the benefits of this is that it's running just stock Android, right? Now it's running 4.2.2, 4.3 is coming, I think, by the end of the year. The Shield already has 4.2 or 4.3 on it. But it's a Tegra 4 powered device, it's pretty fast. It's running uh, maybe 100 megahertz lower clock speeds on uh, the CPUs than the Shield is, but it's a very fast device all around, right? You can see here it's, it's scrolling responsiveness is pretty good, and as long as our Wi-Fi cooperates, everything loads up very quickly as well. If you want to do media playback here, we'll play a uh, trailer for uh, Pacific Rim. I'm really impressed with the speaker placement. This is something like the HTC One did. Turn it down just a little. But the speakers are actually really high quality. The front facing speakers I think make a huge difference for media consumption when you're not wearing headphones. It also has a base reflex port on the device as well, somewhat similar to what they did on Shield, but obviously in a thinner form factor. Visual quality is good, audio quality is really pretty good. Uh, if you want to do gaming, obviously with the Tegra 4 SoC on here, you're going to have all of that capability uh, as well. Um, you know, you'll be able to attach Bluetooth controllers to it, you know, you can sync those and play that way, or you can use the, the same tablet functionality you get with any other tablet in that way. Let's see. Uh, graphics look great. Obviously, there are some uh, Tegra-enabled games, Tegra Power, or Powered by Tegra style games that have better visual quality, better fidelity. The graphics actually look really impressive on, an, uh, on a device like this. So it works pretty well. Oh, let me get out of here. Now, one of the other, I think, kind of differentiating fi uh, features of this device is the fact that, well, let me continue to quit this, is that it has a stylus. Um, not to mention the fact that its price is significantly lower than most other stylus enabled devices. It is not an active stylus, but NVIDIA is very proud of some of the features that they've added. First thing you'll notice is when you pull the stylus out of its slot on the uh, Tegra Tab 7, it brings up a little launcher menu uh, that you can add any applications you want to there. It defaults with like a Tegra Draw and a Write application. And uh, it, it does pretty well. You can see my artistic endeavors have been fantastic on this device. But it's, uh, if you have ever used a stylus on um, a 
kind of a non-active device, a, a passive device, you'll notice some issues either with sensitivity, it, its ability to be sensitive to thin lines versus thick lines using the same stylus. It does very well here. Um, you know, I can push down a little bit harder and get that. Uh, it also has palm recognition, so it, if I want to rest my hand on it and still draw, it's obviously doing that pretty well. It's, it's, it's an impressive device. Don't mind my artistic capabilities again, if, but if you know, do a smiley face, you could do that as well. But uh, a pretty high quality stylus implementation, especially considering the price tag, which is probably the best feature of this device. Uh, it's going to be for sale starting November 19th for $199. Pre-sale on Newegg, I think, starts on November 12th for, again, $199. That puts it in direct competition with the Nexus 7 uh, and several other kind of lower cost Android tablets. This, I think, is, is going to be a great option for people that uh, want a, a gaming tablet, but it can also do fast web browsing. It can run all the Android applications pretty quickly and want to play around with the idea of using a stylus for all kinds of things, note taking or annotation or, you know, the ability to, you know, be reading something, circle it, save it, clip it, email it off. You can do that very easily with the stylus implementation. Um, Questions we'll have is how does EVGA react to now being in the tablet market, supporting the tablet market? Uh, if their graphics card support is any indication, I think they'll do pretty well. And NVIDIA is basically, you know, doing all the development cost up front, all the development of the product and the design is all handled by NVIDIA as part of their Tegra Note platform. So we have a full review posted on the website at PCPer.com. Just look for the Tegra Note 7 review. Thanks for watching, guys.